Hello. We are now studying changing states of matter in school. So in today's experiment, we will be examining temperatures at which different liquids either turn into solids or turn into gas. These are the freezing points and boiling points of those different liquids. The five liquids we'll be examining are distilled water, salt water, vinegar, which is an acid, sodium hydroxide, which is an alkali, and isopropyl alcohol. We shall start with examining the freezing points where these liquids will start to turn into solids. We first put equal amounts of the five liquids into labelled test tubes. We shall then put the five solutions in the freezer and monitor them every 10 minutes to see how much, if any, freezing has taken place. Make sure the freezer is at its lowest temperature or else some of the liquids might not freeze. At the end of the 20 minutes that have gone so far, we have seen that A, which is the distilled water, has completely frozen. And D, which is the the sodium hydroxide has started to freeze and is around halfway until it's fr completely frozen. Half an hour later, A, which is the distilled water, is still completely frozen. D, which is the sodium hydroxide, is also s completely frozen now. B, which is the salt water, is almost completely frozen with a small amount of water left. D, which is the vinegar, is, um, is starting to freeze. And E, which is the alcohol, has not frozen yet. At the end of an hour, you can see that the alcohol has still not frozen. While the other solutions are now completely frozen. In fact, the freezing point of isopropyl alcohol is around 80 degrees centigrade, which is why it could not freeze in our fridge. Our freezer could only go down to a temperature of minus 30 degrees. From this experiment, we can see that the alcohol clearly has the lowest freezing point, being the last to freeze. Next was the vinegar, followed by the salt water, and then the sodium hydroxide and pure water which were the first two liquids to freeze. In fact, the freezing point of vinegar is around minus 15 degrees centigrade. That of the salt water is around minus 1.8 centigrade. And that both sodium hydroxide solution and water is around zero degrees centigrade. Our experimental observations are therefore cons consistent with this data. In the second part of the experiment, we will be measuring the boiling points of these liquids, that is, the temperature of which these liquids turn into gas. In this part of the experiment, we will fill up a test tube to three quarters full with each of the five liquids. We will heat it over a spirit burner and measure the temperature at which it begins to uh, boil. As we are dealing with fire and boiling hot liquids in this part of the experiment, make sure your face and body are well protected with goggles and a lab coat. 
we'll start by first heating the distilled water. Now, as you can see, the distilled water is boiling. As well as that, the temperature it boils at now is 100 degrees centigrade. Now we will bo uh, boil the salt water and measure the temperature on which it boils at. Now the salt water is boiling and as you can see the temperature is slightly over 100 degrees meaning that the salt makes the water boil, <laughs> makes the water have a higher boiling point. Now we will be boiling the vinegar to see what temperature it boils at. Now the vinegar is boiling and as you can see the temperature is slightly above 100 degrees. Now we will be boiling the sodium hydroxide and seeing how long it will take and the temperature it will boil at. Now the sodium hydroxide is boiling at a temperature slightly above 100 degrees. Now we will boil the alcohol and to see what temperature it will boil at. Now the alcohol is boiling at a relatively low temperature at around 80 degrees. Here is a graph summarizing the results of our experiment. You will see that the liquid with the lowest freezing point is alcohol, whilst water and sodium hydroxide have the highest freezing point. The liquid with the lowest boiling point is also alcohol, much lower of that of water. On the other hand, salt water, vinegar and sodium hydroxide all have boiling points slightly higher than that of water. Of the five liquids, alcohol has by far the largest range of temperatures in which remains li it remains liquid. That is between minus 80 degrees and plus 80 degrees centigrade. Water has the lowest range between 0 and 100 degrees. Thank you for watching.